Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. It's almost Christmas, but don't worry, pro climbers, they haven't stopped. So yeah, Terry, Christmas next week. Can you believe it? Uh, yes, because the calendar says so. True, yeah. Time does take yes. inevitably <laughs> onwards, yeah. I don't know which day it's today, the 14th? Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, it's but Wednesday. It, it's, well. next, it's not this Saturday, it's the next Saturday. <laughs> so 10 days to go. Exactly. 11. Um, Almost Christmas. We're I, excited. I would have thought that, that pro climbers could have around the world would have taken this moment to rest and relax during the holiday period, but they haven't, have they? Why would they do that? That's not what they do. During right. Christmas, you know, they go on holiday, send hard things. So when we get back, we have a ton of news. I hope they do. I really hope they do. Uh, yeah, first up, we have Jakob Schubert that's down in Spain, and he's going to tell us about his normal day at the office. Jakob Schubert is climbing down in Spain, and after a few days on King Capella, he sent it, and then jumped on his sand train to climb La Capella too. He expressed his opinion on the grades, saying that King Capella could be hard 9B, but La Capella just 9A+. He didn't officially downgrade them, right? But he did express his opinion that's a bit lower than what people have said so far about those two routes. Yeah, look, I don't want to be like super controversial about this, because I feel like mm. we talk about downgrades a lot on this show. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> We're not trying to be controversial, but downgrades are always interesting. I'm still going to give my opinion, though. Um, I think Jakob Schubert is one of the strongest men in the entire world, right? Uh -huh. he, he's like he's like God-level echelon. Like, yes. maxed out, all the Call of Duty weapons, he's the best. <laughs> and uh, I just think that... I think he's so good that perhaps he doesn't even know what 9B plus is. I, th I still reckon it's 9B plus. Oh, right. No, I think it's more to do with, uh, with the length of the roots, because he does mention they're bouldery mm -hmm. and short. And, you know, like... Well, you know, uh, when you do a hard boulder problem at your limit, and then once you do it, you're like, oh, that wasn't that hard oh, in I the see. end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more one of those feelings like, oh, I didn't really have to work hard for it. But in reality, it was still really hard. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look, Magos has climbed it. He, he did kind of err on the side of maybe it wasn't 9B plus, yeah. didn't he? But he erred. Yeah. Uh, Will Bosi, I know, uh, like, you know, absolute boss. Who knows? Who knows? We'll find out soon. Time will tell. Fourth Ascensionist people, get on it. Get on it. Adam. People have called me an illegal alien giraffe, and what I have to say is, f them. F***ing out of Mondra. And if anyone thinks they're better than me, I can smell you, and I'm watching you through my nostrils. Uh, I've lost my news. Uh, there it um, goes. Uh, yeah, so 8C plus, first Ascenti. As reported by Planet Mountain, there's a new 8C plus boulder in town, and it looks savage. Raichi Murai has sent his project, which he's calling Launchpad, and it's in Japan. The boulder is short and intense, split into two sections, with the first few moves being V15-ish and the second V14-ish. It starts with a dino off small crimps to a three-finger pocket, then across through sequence on tiny edges. It's pure power all the way, and he's described it as his dream line. I love a boulder that's got a campus start. Uh, I just think it's how all boulders should be. Uh, and that thing looks savage, that move. It's just because you don't want to use your feet. I think feet are unnecessary. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying it. Like, you know, like, what's the point? If, if you could avoid using them, why not? What about all those climbing shoe reviews videos, Matt? <laughs> that's a very good point. Uh, guys, you need shoes, obviously. Please uh, go to the Epic TV shop and buy some. But look, I just, I'm a camp. I like campusing. Mm. And, and I like to see a boulder that's a campus problem. So right. look, it's awesome. His dream line. Nice one, mate. Bang. Uh, I've got more bouldering news from the US and it's only about women crushing. The Mellow YouTube channel dropped a new video of Brooke Rabatou sending Trieste, an 8B plus or V14 boulder. Powerful and overhanging, she made quick work of it over two trips, one back in January and the second one in November. She explains that coming back she felt stronger and put less pressure on herself to send it. As reported on 8A.NU, Alex Johnson climbed Fontana Black, an 8B in Red Rock, Nevada. In the article, she explained that she's been climbing a lot with Canadian bouldering champion Alison Vest, and Alex described climbing with her inspiring and encouraging. And as for the boulder, Alex found the bottom rail the hard bit, and that one time she made it through the bottom, stuck the big move out right, and then clawed up through the top out. Red Rock, Nevada seems like the place to be this 
autumn, winter. Autumn? It's winter. Wait, have you seen the snow outside? Yeah, it's not uh, autumn. Isn't it technically autumn until the 21st? I don't think so. I think we're deep in winter here. If we're not, we should be. We've had mo- more snow in Chamonix for what? Since the 70s or something? I feel that you read that on an Instagram post and now just believe in it, but didn't actually look into it. Dude, when I'm crushing Gnarly Pow all day, then, you know, I, it was going to be called Skiing Daily soon. I'm just going to go out and ski and talk about skiing boots, all right? Guys, I'll still bring climbing to you because I'm loyal <laughs> to climbing. <laughs> I've lost all track of where we are. We're talking about Boulder, uh, Yes, no, you were going to talk about Scottish winter. Yes, no, I am talking about Scottish winter because it's winter. And uh, people are doing stuff in Scotland. It's that time of year again when the weird and brutal world of Scottish winter starts to feature in the news. As reported by Planet Mountain, Greg Boswell has put up a new Scottish 9-9 with his climbing partners Graham McGrath and Hamish Frost. They're calling the line Take Me Back to the Desert and it's a three-pitch sustained route on Ben Eye. It goes through an arching roof and into an imposing overhanging headwall that was the crux. Boswell describes the route as never crazy hard, relatively speaking, but very pumpy and sustained. Nice one, uh, Greg. Um, From what I understood from the write-up, so Greg did the first two hard pitches, or like the cruxy pitches, then his climbing partner, uh, oh my gosh, Graham, did the last pitch. Hamish was seconding, taking photos. So good trio there. Sending yeah, some stuff. That's, that's a dream team. Yeah, it's you need all... the photographer, would you? Yeah, well, of course. I mean, if, if no one takes a photo, did it even happen? No, of course no, not. Exactly. Well, no, maybe you need no, a video no. as well. What you think everything should now have a reel? No, <laughs> no. I think you're right. Actually, uh, 360 cam though. Right, if it isn't 360 I... cam, did it even happen? Heard it here first. The rules have changed. I'm moving on to the 9A roundup. As reported on 8A.new, Alex Garriga has done La Bongada, a 9A, but he gave his personal grade of 8C+. And he also climbed Wa Publico, another 9A in Margalef. Jesus Muñoz Vaquero has done El Lardo Oscuro de la Fuerza, an 8B+. And he also climbed Entropia, an 8C. Entropia was the first 8C boulder in Spain. Alex Megas possibly made the first ascent of Culebras Gemelas, a long-standing project in the laboratory crag in Margalef, and he proposed a grade of 9A. Last week, we talked about Silvio Raffo's latest project, La Musa, and he sent us an interview about it. Ten days ago, I climbed my project, Musa. I think it's around 9A. And the story of the, of the route started one year ago. After the first lockdown, in Italy there were a lot of uh, restrictions. Then we can climb uh, only around uh, our home. Then uh, I, go, I went to Covolo and I check uh, this part of the wall without route. And I, I, I thought that uh, there was a, a possible line. I bolted the route, but uh, I wasn't able to, to send the route because the condition was uh, too hot. Then I close the project and uh, wait uh, this year, last spring. I train a lot in, during the winter. I fit very well on the route, but it wasn't uh, enough to, to send the route. Then I wait uh, this uh, fall. I train a, a lot again, uh, strength training, uh, finger training, and I finally I crash it. That uh, I'm so happy to have done the route. So, I got a fun fact about Alex Garriga. He's only 23 years old and has climbed 31 routes 8C plus or harder this year, which puts him in number one in the 8A ranking game. Whoa. What about, so, what about the UKC logbook game? It's not as important as the, as the 8A one. Oh, gosh. Commenters uh, get commenting on that scandalous <laughs> statement there from Terry Is an 8A more global than UKC? Dude, I, I am not getting involved in I'm this serious, one. But it is. I, I've seen UKC forums. I'm not I'm not starting this argument. Your opinion's your own. I don't care. I don't read them. <laughs> I should start, probably. Uh, thanks to Silvio as well for sending in that interview. Cheers, man. Uh, great effort from you. Now, every single week, it feels like I have to talk about some new young prodigy, and I'm fine with it. Uh, but every now and again, I get to talk about someone a little older. As reported on 8a.nu, Eric Zleisch has climbed the 7C plus boulder Red Letter Day in Little Cottonwood. The 61-year-old has been bouldering since 1977, and it seems like he hasn't lost any strength. 
He did an 8A in 2017. It's a fantastic achievement and we love Eric's style. And those socks. Rocking the sock game. Uh, high socks as well. Which I like. I think it could be the next big thing. 2022, big socks. Okay, I can't wait to see you climbing in socks. No, I'll climb in socks, my friend. I will sock it up. But yeah, nice one, uh, Eric. Killing it. Uh, gives me some hope. Putting the young ones in their place. Okay. Uh, almost 90... the last nine of the year, isn't it? No, not yet. Three weeks to go. Couple nine more. counter. Well, frankly, Jakob, Mr. Jakob Schubert, could have had he could have had more points. He could have had he? three points. But okay, but what are we gonna do? In a day. Because this is the, I still think, even though he thinks it isn't, we should still give him the points because this is what we do. Until it officially gets downgraded, surely. The thing plus. is that Lacapea, um what, four or five climbers have climbed it before him? Three, right? Three. No, that's King Capea. Because yeah, you know he sent two of them. Oh, is he he's downgraded the 9B to a 9A? Yeah, as well. Okay, but still, points. He could have got, what, points. five points, right? No, three. But 9B plus, if he two, kept King Capella. That's Cabela, two points. It's two plus. Po it's only two points for a plus. Oh, yeah, of course. Really? So it's one it's for, oh, because it's 9B, yeah. Okay, five, five. Wow, I do not know my own game. So hang on. So he could have got two, three points. There we go. <sighs> Maths. But he's only got two points. No, one. One point. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick maths. Oh my God, I need more coffee. Right, Jakob, you shot yourself in the foot, uh, but I still think you should be on it. What do you think? So, as we mentioned at the beginning of the show, Christmas is coming. Terry, have you got all your presents sorted? Mm, maybe. Well, maybe, maybe ain't good enough because you are running out of time, especially right. if you're going to order online. Uh, look, it's hard to guarantee exactly when things will arrive. People are all over the world. We can't. We're not allowed to guarantee when stuff will arrive. But you're pushing it real, real close. Like today might be your last chance to order something. Uh, if you are going to order something, trad and outdoor adventure gear kind of is where we're at at the moment, I think. All right. Trad season in the UK, get some cams, get some nuts, good deals on that stuff. And of course, like just general camping gear stuff, which you love, you love camping. I love, and I think it's the exceptional time of the year to go camping, because why not, you know, New Year's Eve, go camping out there and then climb the next day. <laughs> she says through gritted <laughs> teeth. Yeah, it's just painful to, to actually admit that it could be a fun activity. Would it? Around a campfire right. that keeps on blasting the whole night. Can you describe to everyone what happened the first time you went camping? I woke You've up in a soggy tent and cried. Yeah. So it's some deep trauma, Matt. Like mm. I'm still working through it. No, no, I hear you. But you know what will get you through that is a headlamp. So uh, those are also deals in the Epic TV shop. But look, Christmas, if you have left it too late, perhaps you're watching this just before Christmas, we sell gift cards on the Epic TV shop. Instant present. They just send an email, no postage required. So if you've forgotten, get someone a gift card, wrap up the envelope or something. Don't print out the, print out the code for the Epic TV shop. Exactly. The gift card. Yeah, gift cards aren't uh, that bad of a present. We read last week comments on one of our shows that, uh, yeah, they ripped gift the gift cards apart. But if you honestly don't know what to get somebody and uh, you want to make sure they'll have a lovely present, they can pick it themselves with a gift card. There you go. So there is still time. Okay, content. Uh, and Jonathan Segrist, one mm. of my faves. And what a movie from Marco Zanone. Yes, um, here's a clip of Jonathan Segrist. He's climbing in uh, Carnalba, which is a wonderful, wonderful crag in Italy. There's not as much information, I feel, about really hard routes in Italy, but if you dig a little bit, you can find that there's a lot of really nice routes here. And when I was doing a bit of research, I really was just looking for some hard routes, some 9A plus or 9B routes. Really, it's when I started to research the whole crag, Cornalba, and like the location and the history here in this crag and the, the style and just the aesthetic of it. It's incredibly beautiful. That's when I had this feeling like, I have to go and see this place. I have to go to Cornalba.
awesome content as usual uh, and do us a Christmas uh, gift thing by subscribing to the channel. Subscribe to Climbing Daily, please. We love seeing those subs come up and leave comments and all the rest. Um, Comment of the week this week is pretty epic, okay? I know this is already a long show, but the Rock Brothers, uh, Jero and Mark, sent us this epic edit. Three, two, one. Clip, 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 clip. Mmm, nice. Uh, Ted and Ruth, and they simply say, meatballs are popular. It's been so long. Smiles vanishing from my face. Seven days gone. No longer I can wait. I'm so weak. I'm drinking in a bar. In a Niba bar, it doesn't help because it's raining in the dark. I wanna hear you comment of the week. I wanna see light deep in the creek. I wanna get joy back in my life. I wanna eat meat, boys, they so nice. I wanna hear you comment of the week. I wanna see light deep in the creek. I wanna get joy back in my life. I wanna eat meat, boys, they so nice. I wanna hear you comment of the week. I wanna see light deep in the creek. I wanna get joy back in my life. I wanna eat meat, boys, they so nice. They so nice. And I agree. <sighs> Smooth. Very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, I, I liked watching that. It was stunning, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, frankly, Flo, our editor, who does a great job, could learn something from that edit. He's, he's got to put something nasty in now. You're goddamn right. Thank you for sending a comment of the week song. Uh, climb at epictv.com is the email address for that, or you can DM us on Instagram. You know the deal. Uh, you, have, you, have you got one? There weren't many last week, and you picked the fun one, didn't you? So what's what's your message to the peeps? My message, I'm just gonna read out one from Michael Roberts, our main man in the comments. <laughs> I didn't even need to read his name because I just know his picture. Uh, he says, I'm going to Hungary next week for Christmas. This sounds like a challenge to sing a Hungarian for you. Yes, please. Absolutely yeah, love we're that. we're waiting for that. Uh, yes, I did pick the good one. Uh, writer says, can you guys settle an argument? Which, you know, we're good at doing. Uh. Blitzen insists Santa can climb 9B, but Donna swears last year's chimney was at most 9A. Are you guys keeping track? Does anyone know for sure? Uh, yeah, I've, I've looked into it for you. So, look, there's a controversy around Donna. Obviously, we know that, okay? You know, did he, didn't he? Did he take the photo? Did he even do the chimney? It, that's not for us to say. But I have heard from other reindeer who have looked at the chimney, they've attempted the chimney, couldn't get near it. So on balance, it, it's got to be 9B, surely. Yeah, which because chimneys as well, like, you know, it's just a very peculiar climbing style. Exactly. It's, and, and it's 9B. The hooves don't make it easier, obviously. Mm. Antlers get in the way. So um, we think it's 9B, uh, but do let us know what you think down below, of course, as usual. That's it, T. We got through it. What a mammoth yes. one. Yes. Let's get back to the fire because it's cold. It is freezing. <laughs> Happy Christmas next week, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.